Hi, this video will be the second in my St. Patrick's Day card series for 2017. This card features two little owls with a shamrock hat on. I'm using some Distress Inks blending techniques to get this rainbow effect and a very simple sentiment on the inside. The card goes together really simple and very quickly. So let me show you the materials that I used. The papers I'm going to be using is a card base cut 8.5 by 5.5, a white panel cut 5 inches by 3 and 3 quarters, a black mat cut 5 and a quarter inch by 4, a white um, a white uh, piece of scrap cut, I didn't measure this, sorry, 2 and 3 quarters by 4, and some green scrap. And the inks I'm going to be using today is Cottage Ivy by Memento, Rich Cocoa, uh, Bamboo Leaves. I'm also using Wink of Stella uh, glitter pens. I need the gold and the green and the brown. <clears throat> Let me move this aside because I need to bring in a lot of inks. For the rainbow, I'm going to be using these Distress inks. I have Barn Door, Spice Marmalade, Squeezed Lemonade, Mowed Lawn, Blueprint Sketch, and Dusty Concord. I have a Ranger pad here for the blending tool for each of the colors. I will be using them in order. And this blending tool, I've mentioned it on my other videos. This helps with the Distress ink techniques. I will also be using a Stampin' Up! Owl Builder Punch. <clears throat> and I will be using Spellbinders Nest Abilities Labels 14. I will be using the second and the third from the largest. And additionally, I will be using the Punch Bunch Stamp Set by Stampin' Up! to get this little owl here. Of course, I will be using Versafine Onyx Black. And I will also use a little bit of the Black Soot Distress ink. <clears throat> I also need several watercolor pencils in shades of green. My watercolor pen, which is filled with water. A Spectrum Noir glitter pen. This just is a clear bit of sparkle. And the other standard tools, tape, foam tape. I might use a little Tombow glue uh, later on. And uh, let's just get started. The first step, I'm going to be doing my die cutting. So I went and got my big shot. I have my magnet plate and two cutting plates. First, I need to cut out <clears throat> my shape for my sentiment. You could cut the shape before you stamped or you could stamp and then cut it out but I'm just going to do it this way since I already need the big shot for the other shape. So you just put the die cut down <clears throat> with the cutting side facing down. Very easy. And here's the shape. Set that there for a moment. And of the larger one, I need the black. Now this is the black mat for the card. To save a little bit of paper, I'm going to cut the shape that I need out of the mat. This will be covered by the card and you won't see it. Okay, I'm finished with the big shot. I'm gonna move this, move this out now. Okay, I've taken out the big shot. The next is to stamp <clears throat> my owls. So I'm gonna be using my Misty for that. 
because this owl stamp, the solid bit on the wing sometimes doesn't stamp very well. So in order to be sure that I can get a good impression, I'm going to use the Misty for that. So this piece of paper, I'll need the, <clears throat> the two owls and a hat. So I need to be a little bit wise about where I'm placing things. Because this owl is a red rubber, I'll have to take the mat out of the Misty. <clears throat> Okay, transferred it to the door, get the VersaFine, oops, I was going to make a wrong color owl, I caught it at the last. It's the Memento Brown that I need. Okay, make sure this is in the the corner because I know I'm going to have to double stamp it so I have to be real sure of where this is placed. Make sure it doesn't move. If you see there's a little bit of uh, translucency about the wing area. So I saw that coming. Make sure it's right a good press. I could live with it. <clears throat> now I'm going to turn it to the other side and put the other owl here. And if I mess up, I still have plenty of room to get more owls out of this paper. That's why I use such a large sheet. Also need to get his little vest out of this green so I need to clean my stamp so I can move it since I'm still using brown I could have left it on there but <clears throat> I don't want to take a chance and mess up my little piece of green because this paper is not big enough to fit this whole area so I had to move it up so it's only going to be <clears throat> on by one side okay now I'll stamp the owl again whoops have to put him on the door first went to stamp him and he wasn't there There. now I'm not worried about the double stamping for this I'm going to flip it over. So one's out on this side, one out on that side. Okay. Oops. Okay. Clean that off. I'm going to bring in my stamp pad and now I need to get the hat which is my hat stamp to bring in my owl punch and punch out the jacket and here is the jacket here
you just line it up. This this punch is designed to catch the little jacket and part of the wings. But since this is brown on green, forgive my head if it comes in, I don't want that part to show, so I'm going to take a pair of scissors and trim trim that off. little bits go everywhere. Okay, I'm going to punch the other one out and take scissors, as I said, and trim this. I'll show this on camera and do the rest off camera to save save time. So you just follow the line of the wing and cut it off. Both sides. Okay, be right back. Now that I have the two vests, I'm going to glue them down to the owls. Um, I could glue these down after I punched it, but it didn't really matter because the punch will not be getting it, uh, catching it. I'll be using the Tombow glue at this point. You just put a little bit all across the, the vest area and then put it down and hold it for just a moment until it uh, sticks. And repeating it for the other owl. The Tombow is very forgiving so that you have a little bit of time to move it around so you can get it right where you need it to be. Now it's time to watercolor the hat. You, ha I have several shades of green. You start with your lightest shade and you go all over the hat including the shamrock and then you start with the darker colors, slowly blending in from the left side in until the colors are like you want it. And then you go all over with the lightest color again. I'll speed this part up. Now just taking a pair of scissors, I will fussy cut out the hat, just cutting right along the black lines of the hat. And if you make uh, make mistakes during this part, you could just take a black marker and outline along the edges and any white paper that shows up would be blended right in. And now I'm going to punch out the owls. And I have to be careful because as I said, I glued the vest on and I don't want it to catch when I slide the punch in, but it's pretty pretty easy to figure out. You just line it up, make sure you don't cut the feet off, and punch. Now it's time to stamp the sentiment. I have already put it on the block and taking the Onyx Black Versifying and getting my stamp mat, I'm just making sure that I get it lined up in the center and press it down. And it's a little wet, so I'll give it a second to dry. And I'll just tape the sentiment down to the black mat. And now I'm taking the uh, markers and coloring the outlines of the letters. Red for the love, green for the ampersand, and yellow for the luck. This was just random decision to make these colors. You could choose any color you want. And now it's time to move on to the inside of the card. As before, uh, make sure that you're stamping on the right side of the card. And since this is a landscape card, your stamping needs to be landscape. And I set this aside to dry before I do the coloring on that side. And now for the blending of, of the outline. And then I remembered that I didn't put blue on the eyes, so I've stopped and put a little bit of tinge on the eyes to make them look 
more eye like. Owl's eyes are probably not blue, but I decided to make them blue. So I get all my colors back in line and I'm going to be doing a rainbow. So I start with the red and work my way across. You just take the blending, blending pad, put it on the tool and fill the tool up really good with ink and just go back and forth in um, a steady hand, not too light, not too heavy to transfer the ink to the paper. And I'm trying to be sure that I get evenly spaced colors across. You just take the pad off and put on the new pad and change colors and just continue going. Now to assemble the card. I grab my ATG gun and I'm glue paving up the back and I'm careful to make sure that I'm covering that hole and the panel goes onto the black mat. And now that the card is inside has dried a little bit, I'm going to take my markers and fill out the letters. Luck and green can mark on the inside. Of course now this is wet so I have to give it a little bit of seconds to dry. Now, Grab my bone folder and crease it. And I put a little bit of extra tape where the cutout is to make sure that it adheres. And I'm taking a little bit of foam tape and put it on the owls so they'll be popped up. And also a little bit on the hat. And then I re realized that I hadn't used my water pen to blend out the color, so I quickly do that. and just use a paper towel between colors to uh, clean the brush. And I'm taking the brown glitter pen and doing the hat band and sparkling up the eyes. And now some foam tape for the hat also. Now the Sentiment, I'm going to tape it directly down and not pop that up because I thought pop that up would be too much. The single aisle goes to the left side and the other aisle I put it on the lower side, allowing room for the hat. And finally, I take the hat and give it a little tilt to the side, give them a little bit of attitude. And that's it, the card's finished. It went together really quick. I would have preferred to have done a little bit better blending on the second card, um, but it still looks nice this way. I hope you try a card like this, and even if you don't have this owl punch, you can use stickers or any other animals that you want to put there. I thought it was a really cute card, and it went together really fast, and it didn't take too much. You didn't, If you didn't have these distressed inks, you could use any color inks that you had as long as you followed the rainbow color, and you could also do multiple shades and get a monochrome card if you preferred. Thanks for watching and I appreciate everyone's looking at my videos. Take care.